watching Judge Ray Lee Chabot for five weeks, documenting how much, or in this case, how little time she was spending in the courthouse. Today, the county's chief judge said she's taking a hard look at Chabot's attendance. I'm not addressing this. We've returned the reports over to you, and I comply with the same rules that every other judge has to comply with. But her boss is addressing it now. Hours after our report into Judge Ray Lee Chabot's attendance here at Oakland County Circuit Court, her boss, Chief Judge Nancy Grant, announced she would be reviewing Chabot's attendance. For five weeks, starting in March, we watched Chabot to see if we could confirm what a half dozen courthouse insiders told us had been happening for years, that Chabot often spent little time inside the county's courthouse. And it didn't take long for us to see her arriving late, leaving early around noon, sometimes taking long lunches like this one at the Red Coat Tavern that took three full hours. She often ran errands like this one in the middle of the day that took her to the Gap. That's her leaving the UPS store. On some days, she didn't show up to work at all, opting instead to spend the day at home, or on this day, on Diamo Restaurant in Bloomfield Hills. The scrutiny could escalate if a grievance is filed with the state's Judicial Tenure Commission, who reviews complaints about judges. It's unclear on what grounds a grievance could be filed, but one source who served on the commission said Chabot's conduct could conflict with this portion of the judicial code. It requires judges to dispose promptly of the business of the court. And the court has plenty of business. At Oakland County Circuit, a recent study found that the court needs three more judges than it currently has. It's already using the services of a visiting judge to try to keep up, but still needs more help. And this isn't the first Oakland County judge suspected of playing hooky during the workday. Back in 2006, Judge Deborah Tyner resigned after she was found to be leaving work early, much like Chabot, to run personal errands. It's not clear how broad Judge Grant's review of Chabot's work habits will be, but we know she's aware of how Chabot spent at least part of one day where she never showed up to work. Remember that lunch at Andiamo restaurant? Well, that's Judge Chabot on the right, and next to her is Chief Judge Grant. The lunch ran about an hour and 40 minutes before breaking up. Judge Grant returned to work. Judge Chabot did not. We could not reach Judge Chabot for comment today. We're told she's at a judicial conference, but in our early reports, she insisted she is just as productive as other judges and that she follows all court rules. If the Judicial Tenure Commission ever does hear a complaint against Chabot, at least one member on the commission would have to recuse herself. That would be Chabot's current boss, Judge Nancy Grant. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Ross Jones, Channel 7 Action News.